Hello, this is Nerdsman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make a nice particle explosion. So let's create a source for our particles, which is going to be a default sphere, and I'm going to add a floor over here. I'm going to make it quite big, so 3000 by 3000, and I'm going to assign simulation tags as colliders to both of them, and I'm going to make the plane invisible. Then I'm going to select the sphere and use a mesh emitter. And in the mesh emitter, I'm going to go to the emission and set the shot to be 10,000 particles. Now, if I rewind and press play, you will see that the particles are going to be emitted and they're just going to go in all directions. So I need to create some sort of gravity. So let's go to the simulate, go to forces and add a gravity and make it a child of the particle group. Rewind, press play. And you can see they're all falling down. What I want to do, first of all, is to make the particles go a bit faster. So go to the mesh emitter again, properties, and let's set the speed to 1000 centimeters per second with a variance of 300. So we get different speeds. Rewind, press play, and you will see this is what happens. The problem is that the particles fly away too much. They don't appear to be affected by any kind of uh, friction forces from the air around us. So let's go and fix that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the simulate and add a small friction. I'm going to put it in the particle group and set it to 5. Now let's rewind press play again. And now you will see that even when gravity takes over, this friction is still applied. So I don't want to apply this friction constantly. What I am going to do is I'm going to use a condition so that I'm going to test the speed of the particles. And when the particles are going slower than a certain speed, then I'm going to remove the friction. So let's go here and say the condition is going to be checking the velocity speed of the particles. And the type of comparison is when the speed is less than, and I'm going to set this to 6 100 centimeters per second. And when the speed is less than 600 centimeters per second, I am going to switch group so I can conditionally apply a new set of uh, modifiers to that group alone. Let's create a new particle group and assign the switch group to it by dragging it in the switch group. And in here, I'm going to create another gravity force. But this time, these particles are not going to be affected by the friction. So let me rewind, press play, and you will see that it's a bit better now. The last thing I need to do for all particles is to create a collide modifier, make it last, so that it collides with the sphere and the plane. Do that, and you can see that we get those particles underneath. So let me just change my sphere to be a hemisphere, so it only has geometry on the top, and there you go. The only things we need to change now is in the Collide modifier. We need to go to the Collide tab and apply some dynamic friction so they slow down when they bounce, and uh, a bit of a reduction for the bounce value. And here is your beautiful particle explosion. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.